Hey everyone, do you wanna make the best chicken pot pie you've ever tasted? The chicken pot pie of your dreams? The homey, comforty classic that everybody craves in your family? This is it. I make it all the time and it's so easy and it utilizes leftovers and you can use it with pork or turkey or lamb or whatever you wanna do. It's really, really, really versatile. We have an incredible library of recipes on andrewzimmerman.com in our AZ Cooks video series. And Michelle Geyer, one of the most awarded pastry chefs in America, taught everybody how to make a really beautiful pie dough. And I'm just gonna scatter a little flour on my board and scatter some flour on top of this piece so that we can roll this out and use it for our pie dough. We wanna roll this out thin enough to line our ovenware and then we're gonna blind bake it. How do we then get from this crazy beautiful piece of dough into there? And the answer is really, really simple. We're gonna fold it and then we're gonna unfold it. And we're gonna press these corners. By the way, we're gonna put another piece of dough over the top. Baking paper, we wanna very gently lay this into our pan. I constantly reuse old, cheap, dollar a pound black beans. You're just looking for something to weight this down and hold it, so this little contraption goes into the oven for 20 minutes or so, 350. Let's take our chicken out of the stock and we wanna pour off our chicken stock and see how much we have. We know when we get to the making of our filling exactly how much liquid we're pouring in to make our sauce and that will also tell us how much roux we need. First thing I wanna do is get my pan on the stove because while we're doing our chicken, we might as well get cooking. I'm gonna throw in a couple tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna use at least half a bird in here. It depends how much meat comes off here. Take some breast meat. I'm just dicing this. I want nice large pieces. So I'm using up lots of leftover vegetables. Onion, leek, some fresh thyme. I just wanna get some nice color on my alliums. I like my chicken pot pie to have big cubes of fresh chicken and a lot of vegetables in a beautiful chickeny, creamy sauce. So I think we're, we've got the right ratios here. Now I just wanna put some light caramelization on this, not a lot. A little black pepper, carrot, celery. I'm gonna add some parsley leaves. Now I'm going to add some butter and flour and make my roux. And I'm just gonna put that right in the center, two and a half tablespoons. And by cooking my roux, I am going to prevent the flour from clumping up. And once that's incorporated into that butter, start to spread that around. I have warm stock and I'm going to add it one cup at a time. And as I add it, it is going to thicken that sauce as it comes to a boil. I mean, look at now, it's like gluish paste. And we want that to cook for a couple minutes. Add our chicken, add our peas. So we lose some liquid to evaporation. We have some liquid actually being soaked up by the chicken. One thing that makes this a little rich and unctuous is the addition of a little bit of cream now remember, this is going under a dome of pastry, so this is our last opportunity to season. Mm -mm -mm. Grab something handy to hold all these beans. But you can see this is browned on the edges. It's nice and cooked in here. Obviously it hasn't browned. You don't want it to go that far. This would be burnt. But we have a nice cooked pie crust, and we're just gonna start filling. As we start to get to the point where our solids are near the top, get some spoonfuls that have a lot of sauce on there. We do the same thing with the top that we did for the bottom. Now the first thing that I wanna do is push this down until my raw dough meets the cooked 
dough. We just do, you know, every half inch or so, just a little squeeze with the thumbs. Then the most important thing, two holes. And then let's just make a little chimney, finish it around your finger, just so the steam has a place to vent and your dough doesn't close. Then the last thing that I wanna do, break my egg into my leftover cream. Don't put big glops of egg wash on, but make sure you paint the edges. And now this is gonna go back into our oven. You want this to sit and rest for 10, 15 minutes before you serve it. Let the bubbling stop, let everything kind of relax and all the rest of that. And this is just perfect. One portion for you, one portion for your friend, and a delicious larger piece for me. Wow, so good. I mean, the whole thing is just, it's just perfect.